Kajabi has tons of beautiful templates to help you build a beautiful, elegant website to run your online business with. But what's a hidden feature is that you can change the fonts that you have on your website. You don't need to download anything online or go through some weird website. Kajabi gives you a ton of different fonts to choose from so you can fully customize your website. You just need to know where to look. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you today. If you wanna take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All of this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is go to the website tab and we'll go under design and then right here you can customize your website. You can also browse the different templates that they have. I'm not gonna show you how to build out an entire website in this lesson. This is about fonts, but if you look at these different templates that they have, they all have a bit of a different font. Maybe you like the font, but you don't like the look and feel of these different templates. Don't worry, just pick the template that you like the look and feel for, and then I'll show you right now how we can change the font from inside of those templates. So we're just gonna roll with this one. This is the basic template that they give you when you first start out, uh, kind of the default template. Notice the font, it's okay. It's kind of boring in my opinion. Uh, but this is like a website template that you have. It's all plug and play, beautiful, awesome. The way that we're gonna change the font, and this doesn't matter which theme or template you decide to go with, is you're gonna go over to the settings tab right up here, click on that, and then we are going to go down to style guide, and then scroll down to fonts. You may also see it as topography, and I'll show you in a landing page what that can look like but that's how you're gonna find fonts. Just go to settings and then style guide. And as you go through, you'll be able to click here and you'll have a ton of different fonts to choose from. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to go with um, Merriweather. We'll go there, hit that. Body font, you could do bold or normal. And then the heading font, let's say we'll do this one just to see what it looks like. Click that, hit save, and it will change up the font. A uh, font that I really like is Poppins. So we'll go that for the body font, and then let's say the heading font will also do Poppins. Right there, hit save. Now you can see it's all Poppins. Okay, so that's really how you change the font. It's very, very simple. It's just knowing where to look is the only challenge. So we'll go back. One thing you do have to consider is that if you go where I just showed you, that customized page, the design, go to settings, style guide, and change the font, that should change the font for all of your website pages. But if you decide to build a new landing page, you're gonna wanna go to pages under the website tab, click on that and then we'll go to landing pages. Click here, we'll create a new landing page. And again, you're gonna have a ton of different options right here, different um, fonts and styles. Uh, if you wanna create a sales page, we'll just go with, we'll go with this one, creative. That's a, yeah, this is a cool one. So you can keep browsing, we'll click get started and we'll just call this test. From here, we have our whole landing page set up. It's all ready just to change the text, whatever we want, but let's say that you don't like this font that they give you. That's where we go back over to settings right here, and we'll have favicon or style guide. 
scroll down and we can decide what we want to do. Let's say that we wanted to stick with that pop-ins. Oops. Pop-ins and we'll go here. Pop-ins. Also, if you see a style guide that you like, let's say that you really like this font, but you maybe don't like the style of the template, you can always go into the style guide and see what font they're using, and then you can transfer that over to a different template that you do like and just change the font to, a, to this font that you like. But right now, I'm just gonna see what Poppins looks like because that's my favorite go-to font. Now you can see the whole difference, and you can change the size of this and everything to make sure that it looks uh, more user-friendly, whatever you want. But this is all in Poppins now. Okay, so that's literally how you do it. Again, if you go to settings sometimes, uh, depending on the page, I don't know why this happens really, but uh, style guide is gonna be your go-to. Sometimes it'll say favicon and then it will say topography. Topography is going to allow you to change the fonts just like going under style guide. All right, so that's just a pro tip, but that's really all there is to changing fonts. Uh, they give you a ton of different fonts that you can choose from to really customize the look and feel of your website. But make sure when you build a new landing page that you always check the settings as you're building it. If it's a sales page, for example, go to settings and then make sure that you have it all set under whatever font or fonts you decide to use. If you have any more questions about customized fonts inside of Kajabi, let me know in a comment below. And if you're new, the best way to tell if Kajabi really is right for you is to get a hands-on feel, which is why you should check out my link, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi in the description. I hope this was helpful for you and I will see you in the next one.